All right, we've been through our safety training, and now we're going to the Ford ITS Congress, World Congress, to check out Bill Ford speaking. Then I get to interview him, and I get to give him a copy of my book, Bill Drone Electric Vehicle. And thank you, Echo Divas. What's up? Later. <laughs> IT, uh, it's the 18th ITS World Congress. Okay. The 18th ITS World Congress. So I am here with Green Living Guy. Or do I say the Green Living Guy? The Green Living Guy. Or okay. So Seth. I, <laughs> I'm here with Seth, the Green Living Guy. You guys know who he is, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're at the 18th ITS conference. You're like feeding me the lines. ITS stuff. World Congress. ITS World Congress conference. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to say this all over again. Okay. <laughs> I suck at doing this part. And I'm supposed to be getting doing this. Okay. okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Hey, we're at the 18th ITS World Congress right here in Orlando. Check it out right there. Later. And that was the Green Living Guy, and I am Taryn from Eco Divas, and I'm having an exceptionally awesome time. I've gotten to meet some of the Eco Divas from Ford that I'm excited to share with you, and you're going to get to see me ask my big question that I've been waiting for two years to ask to Bill Ford. You better ask it, Taryn. I know! I did! Okay, so we'll see you soon, and peace out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, you know, if you think about you know stormwater management, um, you know, we, we haven't done anything very sexy. We've done uh, just a series of swales with phytoremediation, um, and so uh, uh, you think. Of, but we have done some sort of sexier things like uh, capturing the paint fumes and turning them into fuel for fuel cells. So, uh, and then there's a whole spectrum. You know, we have again, you know, things like porous pavement where water goes through rather than you know <coughs> rushes into the city sewers and. Um, we do use photovoltaics, um, uh, and, and they, they even work in Dearborn, Michigan, which is amazing <laughs> because I got here and I said, son, this is incredible. I haven't seen it in a while. But uh, so, so uh, the, the business case uh, for the suite of technologies works. Um, and, you know, of course, we have the green roof and all those things as well. Um, and some of those ideas work better in other locations. Um, but what's, what's interesting, though, is the way our employees have responded to it. Um, they were, the, you know, we, we initially brought in um, Bill McDonough, who was sort of seen as the Green Dean. He was the Dean of the UVA uh, School of Architecture. At the time, it was called the Green Dean. And Bill uh, came in with lots of, lots of ideas. But what was really interesting to him and to me was ultimately what happened is about 90 to 95 percent of all the ideas that made it into the Rouge came from our own employees. And so th that same enthusiasm is now working on the next generation of ideas and also ideas that could be transportable to other locations. <laughs> we are, and you know, and we're saving, you know, we're obviously saving water, um, we're using a lot less water. I mean, that, that's a, an environmental issue that I think a lot of people don't focus on is water usage. We've cut our water usage dramatically uh, in the last five or six years, and we have uh, more stringent targets even more. Which helps reduce Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Do you have any intentions of doing any kind of alternative fuel convertibles? In, in convertible? A convertible. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're talking about a, 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 I, I may be really dense, but are you talking about a convertible top com or, or, conver or a convert fuel conversion? Well, convertible as in, I live in Los Angeles, my mom lives here in Florida, and we would love one. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So you're a real car enthusiast. I know. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, listen, as, a, as, as someone who has uh, more Mustang convertibles than I let my wife know about, um, I'm, a, I'm a huge believer in, I, I love convertibles, and I always drive them when I can, and, and, and I do. Uh, we don't have any convertible um, uh, alternative fuel vehicles coming yet. But now that you, but now that you mention it, it's not a bad idea. Okay. It is, um, well, I have some pictures for you of an idea that I came up with. I'm just saying. Today we're experiencing the most dramatic changes to our products and our industry since the assembly line over 100 years ago. The connection revolution has begun. A new era of innovation and collaboration that's really going to transform personal mobility. There are a few examples. One is the city of Mazdar, created in Abu Dhabi, that is actually pretty much up and running now. And it's, re it's re uh, relying entirely on solar energy and other renewables with a sustainable, zero carbon, zero waste ecology. It's the side street. new 2012 Ford Focus electric. It's 100% electric. Um, you can expect it to come out later on this year and you can fully charge this vehicle in about three to four hours on a 240 volt charge um, and it can go for about 100 miles. Excellent. Do you want to tell me about it? I know you entered the zone. See, okay. When that, when that went, dun, 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 when you heard that, um, it went, as you can see, it's now in the green, in the EV, so it's all EV now. This is all electric car now, guys. Yep. So what we're demonstrating here is, is an electrical smart car. Um, that means that, that the zones we defined was defined on a laptop, or in this case, Ryan's uh, iPad, and he just defined half of the garage top as a green zone. Uh, turning on the vehicle, it downloaded the zone definitions from the cloud, 
uh, together with any other zone definition we have defined and it continues to operate just because of that definition. Um, if we had planned where I'm going in a long route, it would also do planning for me. How much energy do I need to save? But you drive very, very calmly. You're not an aggressive driver, so you might need, do not need to save as much as I. Would, maybe a more aggressive driver would need to save more. Well, I'm also on the top of the parking lot. Yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> true. Sorry, but no, this is you can tell this is all electric. And then yeah, what will happen is once we pass the cones, mm -hmm. it's going to go into regular. So here we go, guys. Here they hear see that? That's the hybrid side now. Yeah, and the RPMs bumped up. And the RPMs went to a thousand RPM. <laughs> and now you enter the zone. See, okay. So when that when that went dum, 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 when you heard that, um, it went, as you can see, it's now in the green in the EV. So it's all EV now. This is all electric car now, guys. Yep. So what we're demonstrating here is, is an electrical smart car. Um, that means that, that the zones we define was defined on a laptop, or in this case, Ryan's uh, iPad, and he just defined half of the garage top as a green zone. Uh, turning on the vehicle, it downloads the zone definitions from the cloud, uh, together with any other zone definition we have defined, and it continues to operate just because of that definition. Um, if we had planned where I'm going in a long route, it would also do planning for me. How much energy do I need to save? You drive very, very calmly. You're not an aggressive driver, so you might need, do not need to save as much as I. Would, maybe a more aggressive driver would need to save more. Well, I'm also on the top of the parking lot. Yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> true. Sorry, but no, this is you can tell this is all electric. And then yeah, what will happen is once we pass the cones, mm -hmm. it's going to go into regular. So here we go, guys. Here they hear, see that? That's the hybrid side now. Yeah, and the RPMs bumped up. And the RPMs went to 1,000 RPM. So if, if the needle That's is a nice, very smooth transition, Thank by you. the way. If I might add. <laughs> we worked hard on that. I bet you did. Um, so what you see, the needle is actually the engine speed. So when it goes to zero, it actually is off. It's completely off. Yeah, and then you right. So right now, it's, it's, it's driving you know, in a, in a plug-in or in a hybrid mode, a little bit of exhaust gases. Yeah, um, a little bit, not much. Not much. Not much, not at this speed. And this is a, the Ford Escape hybrid, so this is, and now we're down into EV again, guys. Yeah. Totally electric. Total no electric. Engine, no exhaust. Um, this is the Escape uh, plug-in hybrid Escape. Mm -hmm. um, this is a fleet of, of about 20 uh, mm -hmm. test vehicles we made a few years ago. Yep. Um, we are going to launch a, a plug-in hybrid uh, uh, next year, the, the, the C-Max Energy, right. it's built on the Focus platform. Focus. Okay. Um, it's not a Focus, it's a little bit bigger, but the same platform. Okay. Um, I think we launched the, the auto show earlier this year. We yep, showed it. I was there. Detroit. You liked it? I uh, And uh, this system is, is a research system though, so it's not intended for the first generation of plug-in hybrids, mm -hmm. but we want to show how we can make the vehicle smarter with, with cloud connectivity and, and, uh, and cloud computing. Well, as I said before, when I worked for the uh, New York Power Authority, um, we uh, funded EPRI mm -hmm. and the Department of Energy to fund these cars. So, I worked on funding this thing! <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Dude, check it, check it out! <laughs> this is great. This is... <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you checked those brake lights. Turn. Look where you want to go. Yeah. yeah all right. When you look where you want to go, your exactly. eyes tell your hands and your feet to go faster or slower. Right. Just like playing sports. So there's a helicopter tour that is right over there. So that's why you that's can what see I the see? helicopter. Yeah. Ooh, hi. Stay in the lane! <laughs> <laughs> She's not even drunk! <laughs> <laughs>
Do not try this at home, ever!